What's up, sons? It's Blinder on with Side of the Tech once again. Today we're going to be taking a look at EVGA's GTX 1063 gigabyte, which is just the base model. And it's going to have Samsung memory, but let's see how it mines. Stick around. Welcome back. So the GTX 1063 gigabyte that we're taking a look at today only has a single fan. So we are going to have to be concerned about temperatures and you guys will see that once we get into some of the tests. Moving around the card, we also see that we only require a single six pin power adapter, which is a plus because that's going to reduce the amount of power adapters or PCIe cables that you need to purchase along with building a rig like this. The heatsink underneath the shroud isn't very impressive and like I said earlier, the cooling is the biggest problem with this card. So to prepare yourselves, let's take a look at the fan noise right now. All right, so the fan noise isn't that terrible, even at 100%, and you're gonna need it, because let's start talking about the performance in the mining aspect. So taking a look at Vertcoin first, which is going to be your Lira Rev 2 algorithm. It got a whopping 21.54 mega hash a second at 200 watts with 83 degrees Celsius. So at 83 degrees Celsius, if you guys aren't aware, most of these cards, especially Nvidia, start thermal throttling at 84. So because it's at 83, I can tell you that it started thermal throttling and bringing down the core clock, which in most cases reduces performance depending on the algorithm, etc. Moving on to XMR, which is Monero, AKA, of course, we're talking about Kryptonite algorithm here. We have a 454 hash a second performance with at 150 watts at 78 degrees Celsius. So this is looking a lot better with this particular algorithm it doesn't have near as many heat issues and doesn't seem to require near as much cooling so keep that in mind for this card it might be a direction with this particular cooler that you want to take next we have equihash which is going to be your zcash coins and that comes out to a 254 hash a second at 175 watts at 83c so once again we are seeing this kind of thermal throttling happening and we'll talk about this in a second a little bit more in depth with Zcash in particular or Equihash. Finally, we have ETHash, which is going to be your Ethereum coins, etc. And it gets 19 mega hash a second stock with 190 watts and once again capping out at 83 degrees Celsius. Obviously, the biggest problem with this card is cooling. And the only way that you're able to stop it from thermal throttling, in my experience, is 100% fan noise. So definitely rewind this video, listen to the fan speed tests or fan noise tests and see if that's going to be something bearable for your situation. If you do get all of the cooling under control, and I will say I did try ADC was still, especially on Equihash, was still kind of thermal throttling me. So we were still hitting 83C at 80%. So unfortunately this is just absolute trash cooling. But if you're able to actually maintain a better cooling option at 100% fan speed, then Equihash starts looking a lot better. And as an example here, you can see that we get about 272 to 270 hash a second on Zcash, which is a whopping like 20 more hash a second. And that is only with adjusting the fan speed and stopping it from thermal throttling. Luckily with the other two coins, Vertcoin and ETHash, so Lira Rev 2 and, and Ethereum, we weren't seeing any drop in hash rate. So it wasn't as big of a concern as it was on Zcash. However, you are running your card really, really hot the whole time. This is because, just so you guys get an idea, Zcash is a little bit more dependent on core clock. And what happens when the thermal throttling happens is the card software for the card drops the actual core clock, not necessarily the memory clock. So you're not gonna see as much of a degradation of performance over time as the card heats up 
on something like Ethereum, but you will see it a lot more noticeably on something like Zcash. So I hope that explains a little bit about why that's happening. This is a very good performing card for the price if you can get the Samsung memory. We're gonna be talking about the Micron memory performance for the 1063 gigabyte in a video later this week. So if you're interested in that, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, that's redundant, double subscribe. Double subscribe, now you just subscribed unsubscribed and I'll tell you subscribe again. So there, we fixed it. It's over. We fixed it. And uh, as always, I'll see you next Tuesday. Don't forget about coins.sonofatech.com. Peace.